That's tough. I, I think, um, I know I'm supposed to only have one, but I don't. Uh, I really love our arrangement of Before the Throne. I just think it's cool. Uh, it reminds me a lot of Manchester Orchestra, which is a band I really love. And um, we listened to their album a lot prepping for this record. And as we were thinking about who do we want to sound like or model things after, um, we took a lot of inspiration from their latest record. So that was really cool. Um, I really like Have Mercy a lot. That song is... Uh, it's very important to me. It was a really emotional song to write, really intense song to write, and I really like how it turned out and think it captured what was going on inside of me as I wrote it. And then um, Where It Ends is also one I really like on the record because I, I wrote um, all the originals except for that one. I co-wrote that with Kylie, and I just thought she did a killer job. She brought me the first verse and chorus, and then we wrote the rest of it together, and I just really love the prayer from Thomas Merton that she based it off of, and I love the concept of it. It just was really moving and cool and exciting for me to have somebody else's voice be contributing to the writing process, so uh, I don't have a favorite out of those three, but those are three of my favorites. Um... So a favorite lyric of mine from the writing process, there's always a couple. Um, I really love the Righteous Fire Blood, just that idea, sin won't own my name. Um, I was reading, I think, a fantasy novel at the time where like the names of things were really important because it was like the true nature of something. And, I really loved that idea that something's a name revealed its true nature and that sin had my name and that uh, it didn't have to. So that was really powerful for me when I wrote it. Um, I also loved the little turnaround and where it ends, um, where it says, uh, Though I walk along the shadow road, I have no fear of where the shadows roam. I thought that was like a cool little turnaround, as well as uh, uh, still I'm trusting that the morning light is coming any day. I thought that was quite clever. Pretty proud of that one. Uh, so those are a couple of my favorites. Not necessarily emotionally, but just ones I was like, ooh, that was clever. I like that. So those are some of my favorite lyrics. One of my favorite guitar parts is the intro to Calm My Busy Mind, that kind of wobbly, weird, uh, ghost-sounding thing. That was really cool. And I uh, had a Line 6 Helix, and so I was just wanted to take a left turn with something. Uh, we were sounding very much kind of like this group sounds. We played together for a long time, and I was like, gosh, we got to do something. I got to do something. It just makes me turn my own head and go like, what the heck is that? Why is that there? And uh, so I just searched through the helix until I found a weird effect and was like, I'm using this. So that was cool. I was proud of that one. Um, one of my favorite parts, too, I love it where it ends. There's really three guitar parts going on in the choruses. There's this really cool, like, um, bend up that Ben does that I really like. It just is like a voice or something. It's really beautiful. It's pretty bad. One and done. But then there's um, two electric parts that trade off. And um, just the way they transitioned from one to the other, I thought was really cool. As well as um, Righteous by Your Blood, Ben and I did a lot of harmonizing stuff. Uh, and in Calm My Busy Mind, my and Ben and I did a lot of harmonizing stuff. I'm really big on that, where guitars uh, are playing like two pieces of the chord and modifying each other, or uh, more like a guitar that acts like a voice or, or is something different. So those are some of my favorite parts. I loved each part for different reasons. I like, I love writing songs, I write a lot of them, and uh, I love the songwriting season, so I love that, and I really love getting to do that with Kylie. Um, I really love the arranging part. Uh, it was kind of a headache to organize and get everyone there and have everyone be on time and try to make this come together, but I really love inspiring people and watching them own it and take 
a song and, that I had written and really make it work um, with their own creativity. And so that was really, really cool um, and really special. I love the recording process a lot. Every time I do a project, the recording is one of my favorite parts because it's where these songs, um, you kind of dress them up and make them the way that you've always dreamed of. And uh, that was really, really great. And same with the mixing process. The mixing process can be a little arduous. Um, but I had a lot of fun doing that with Ben and just talking through like each song and each section and talking about our priorities and referencing the other albums that we had taken inspiration from and um, really just trying to make it everything we thought it could be. So I really loved all those, but I, I think the arranging process Probably my favorite just because I got to be around everyone the most. And everything else is kind of in sections of different people. So, yeah, it's probably my favorite part.